Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Nikos and Olga, thank you for inviting me here today. Um, actually, I've been here as a speaker in different occasions over the last 10 exciting years of the Greek crisis and uh, representing different companies in different capacities. But today, I'm particularly honored to be here to present the Hellenic Corporation of Assets and Participations, uh, where I'm trusted with the role of the CEO. Um, and I think it's, it's very important to share with you today what is our vision, what are our strategic goals, and how we intend to support the Greek economic recovery. Uh, the Hellenic Corporation of Assets and Participations is a newly established company. Uh, it has been established um, in uh, 2017. Uh, in reality, it's a holding company which brings under its roofs um, important assets of the Greek states, including real estate assets and shareholdings in state-owned enterprises. Uh, it operates according to the rules of the private economy in an independent and professional manner, but it has been established to work and operate for the benefit of the public interest. Um, in reality, the establishment of the Hellenic Corporation of Assets and Participations for the first time in Greece provides for a solid institutional structure. Let me try and move on with the slides for a solid institutional structure um, uh, of how um, to, to manage and, and develop the assets of the state uh, at an arm's length relationship um, from, from, from the government in a professional manner, but always for the benefit of the public interest. Um, it also provides for an example of reformed governance of, of how these assets are being managed and developed from the current fragmented responsibility of managing these assets through different entities and, 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 and with different strategies. Um, I would move to the next slide, which basically is a snapshot of our history since we were being established. Um, our governing bodies, it's very important to say that we, we operate as a Societe Anonyme. The General Assembly is the Hellenic Republic as this being represented by the Ministry of Finance. We have a supervisory, five-member supervisory board with five years term, uh, which has very specific roles and responsibilities um, in, in overseeing our operations. And we have a seven-members seven board. Uh, with four years term, two executive members of the board, and five non-executive. It's very important to say that our shares are not being transferable and are not being tradable. It's also very important to say that we have uh, three main objectives. Our first objective is the value creation. Our second objective is the performance improvement. And our third objective is to contribute revenues to the Greek state. 50% of which they will go back for debt repayment, and 50% of which they will go back to the Greek economy in terms of investments. Uh, it's also very important to say that we're currently preparing the strategic plan on how we see and how we expect our assets uh, to be managed. And this strategic plan is based on the strategic guidelines that we have received from the Hellenic Republic as this being represented by the Minister of Finance. Uh, going to the next stage, I'll just go very quickly that, you know, we're talking here about promoting change, promoting transformational change of how the assets are being exploited and managed, but really you cannot promote change if you do not have a very strong set of values, set of values that make you strong and resilient to overcome difficulties, to overcome obstacles, and to face challenges that we all know that the Greek enterprises and the Greek economy is facing today. Uh, we aim to have a technocratic approach in what, whatever we're doing. We aim to transform some of the companies that currently um, they're facing, they have weaknesses and they're facing difficulties. Uh, but also we think that transformation is not only about economic indicators, it's also about changing the culture. It's also about promoting new kind of leadership, empowering people, and giving best examples of how things can move forward if you have the right teams, the right resources, and the right talents. Uh, to become their own models of the next day. Uh, we also think that it's impossible to, to succeed if we are not open in our communication, if we are not transparent, if we don't provide information. That's why you can find lots of information on our website. And in general, if we do not communicate our message to our key stakeholders about what we are trying to achieve and why our role is strategic and important for the Greek economic recovery. 
Uh, going to the next slide, in reality, that's our structure. You can see that we have four subsidiaries. Um, the first subsidiary, in reality, which is the Hellenic uh, Financial Stability Fund, we don't have much powers. The decisions are being made by these relevant bodies, so I won't, I won't say a lot about the HFSF. Our second subsidiary, which is very important, and I'm sure it's very well known to most of you, it's the Hellenic uh, Republic Asset Development Fund. It's a privatization fund of Greece, which has a very specific list of assets which are planned to be privatized over the next years. Uh, so far, until 2016, proceeds from privatizations have amounted to 3.4 billion. 2017, we expect that 1.4 billion of proceeds will be realized. And also, going forward, there is a large number of very significant transactions which are either ongoing or in advanced stage, or some other transactions which are going to kick off very soon in 2018. Uh, when it comes to this subsidiary, we think it's very important that we combine our efforts and, and we advance the privatization program in a way which maximizes benefits. Uh, not only proceeds in the short term, proceeds that will help to reduce the sovereign debt, but also creating long-term benefits for the economy. I think it's very important to be well prepared. It's very important to communicate a message, not only towards investors, but towards the, the economy and the society, that these privatizations bring other kinds of benefits, not only the direct ones, but indirect in terms of investments, in terms of job creation, in terms of enhancing competitiveness, and putting Greece on the international uh, business map. Uh, that's that's the, um, the most important transactions and the status where they are today. Um, and, and I think most of them relate to either exploiting shareholdings in, in large corporates or going through concession agreements when it comes to infrastructure or selling um, real estate assets, uh, marinas, uh, concession agreements, and so on. The third subsidiary, which I think is very important, and it's something which, again, is being established for the first time, it's, it's a subsidiary which brings under its roof very significant real estate property of the Greek, um, of the Hellenic Republic. Uh, in reality, it has under its ownership more than 71,000 titles, uh, which comes from the Ministry of Finance in, 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 in real estate. Uh, it also has a fantastic portfolio of tourism assets, which they come from the Hellenic um, uh, as we call it, uh, the Hellenic uh, National Tourism Organization, EOT, as you remember from the old days. And also it has um, Olympic assets, which were part of the 2004 Athens Olympic Games. Um, for this company, it's, it's very clear that the first priority is that it, this company creates a clean an exploitable portfolio of real estate assets. Um, lots of work needs to be done in order to be able to, first of all, have a, a portfolio which can be exploited. It doesn't have any legal problems. It doesn't, it doesn't have any planning problems. And it has assets that can be exploited over the medium term. Uh, the next priority for this company is basically to uh, prioritize a um, cluster of assets which have value and exploit all possible ways and methodologies of extracting value from these assets. This can include, obviously, sales, but also concession agreements, short-term rentals, and other forms of alliances or, or, or partnerships in order to, to best exploit the assets. In some cases, because these assets are quite old, uh, we would need to, to do some investments beforehand so the value is enhanced before we, we get these assets to the market and try to attract investors. Um, it's true that this company has particular value and has not been exploited so far. Um, most of its assets, they concentrate in tourism sector, so they own um, thermal spas, campings, hotels, plots of lands which can be exploited uh, for, for, for tourism purposes. Um, and, you know, given the fact that tourism is doing so well and has been so res the tourism real estate sector has been so resilient over the last years, I think presents a tremendous opportunity for ETAD uh, to exploit these, these really unique assets. Um, also, um, um, when we talk about the Greek real estate market, I suppose you all agree that there are signs of stabilization over a long-lasting period of um, declining uh, values of real estates. 
um, and combine that with the improved infrastructure, combine that with the macroeconomic environment improvement, but also the fact that the safe havens, Western countries uh, that so far have been attracting most of the capital for real estate, now they're becoming saturated and they offer low returns on investment. So I, I suppose a destination like Greece right now for real estate and for certain asset classes um, can really attract capital, uh, which, which uh, it's, it's something that we will try to, to do over the next years. Uh, going to the next one, I think this is um, the most important of all. It's, it's the last subsidiary that we bring under our roof. And that's the participations of Hellenic Corporation of Assets and Participations in a number of state-owned enterprises. Some of them are very well known to you, like, for example, the Public Power Corporation, like the water utilities, those companies are listed in the Athens Stock Exchange. But also, but also we have strategic participations in, in other companies which are very important for the Greek economy, like, for example, in transportation, you see uh, the, the Attica transportation, urban transportation, you see OSE, you see Athens International Airport, um, buildings infrastructure, Attico Metro, and so on. Um, I think this is uh, for the first time in Greece that all these participations um, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the Greek state, they come under one, one company. Uh, we aim to put the strategy, and these companies would need to come up with, with business plans. They need to come up with the ideas, they need to come up with an action plan, and they need to come up with investment plans of how they are going to meet their targets and, and, and meet the performance um, uh, benchmarks that uh, they, they would have to meet. Um, in, in transforming these companies, I think there are five or, or six very important pillars. One pillar is corporate governance. It's very important that these companies, they start implementing best practices in terms of OECD um, framework of corporate governance. It's very important to understand how the boards operate, the mandate and responsibility of the boards. It's very important to, to set common rules of, um, of complying with best practices in terms of corporate governance. Uh, it's also very important that they promote uh, cultural change. Um, cultural change, is, it's, it's, it, it means sharing the same vision with their people, it means developing their human talent, it means spending more time on how to better manage and to better train their, their personnel and their employees. Um, it's very important also that they move ahead with operational efficiencies. Operational efficiencies is not only about streamlining costs. That's, that's something very important uh, to do. But it's also uh, looking at the supply chain management, um, looking at um, operational systems and IT systems and how these operational technology and IT technology can work together in terms of having real-time information about their operations and making the right decisions for the efficiency. It takes a lot more than really sort of focusing on, on the costs. It takes a, an ecosystem of rules, procedures, uh, tools, um, IT systems in order to get more effective. Um, also, it's very important for these companies to try and look for synergies, try to look for strategic alliances, try to look of what kind of new technologies they should implement in order to become more competitive. Last but not least, these companies, they have to be more customer-centric. They have to look after the customers. They have to come up with new tools and new services that they satisfy the needs today of their customers. Uh, it seems easy, but it's not. For most of these companies, the Greek economic crisis has created challenges and difficulties which is very difficult to overcome. We have to be fair with them. Uh, most of them, they face liquidity issues, they need to work hard on the working capital, and they need to work hard to try and find um, sources of financing, because as you know, in Greece, financing and cost of, cost of capital is, is very difficult. So. Uh, it's very important to discuss with, with the companies in our portfolio about the challenges uh, and about the problems they're facing as a result of the crisis and build together um, a business story and a strategy that over the, the medium term is going to, to create uh, uh, the value and, and the performance that we're looking for. Value and performance for us as a shareholder for the economy because we want these companies to offer better services but also for the society and for the consumers. So in, that's, that's basically a snap, snapshot of the strategic, let's say, objectives and priorities for the four subsidiaries. 
Um, I would like to say that, you know, clearly Greece is at a turning point, um, having gone through a very difficult period and a very difficult crisis. I think it's about time that we focus on our strategic advantages and, 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 and take advantage of them. Um, I think it's also very important that we have to be, at all cases, be well prepared. We need to understand our numbers, we need to see at our financials, we need to be able to, to report um, our, 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 our budgets, our financial statements, and do that regularly. Uh, we also need to upload all this information on the system. That's we, wh what we want from these companies. These companies, they need to homogenize the way they're producing the financial statements. They need to, on a semi-annual and annual basis, to upload their financial statements, which we're going to consolidate. And overall, they need to communicate how well um, they're doing um, and they're managing their businesses. Um, I think the crisis has taught us a lot. Lots of lessons have been learned, and we should not, um, not think about it. Many things have been gained. These companies have managed to survive for a long period of time. They became resilient. They, they proved that they're strong. They proved that they focused on cash flow management, and they survived, whether these were private companies or public sector companies. What we're trying to achieve today is basically to set the strategy for the public companies to become better and for the public sector to be transformed in order to be able to support the Greek economic recovery and also the private sector. Um, I think we should forget about what went wrong in the past. I think that we should focus on how much we've learned, how strong we became, and I think with confidence we need to plan the strategy of the future. And us, as the Hellenic Corporation of Assets and Participations, we will try to secure that by putting together the frame for this strategic transformation. Thank you very much.